Hi, welcome back to the video guide. If you watched our previous episodes, you may have seen the radiant tubing going down in the slab before the pour. Um, you might have noticed that we've got 10 zones in this home. And um, today we're going to discuss the, the radiant floor heating system itself. Um, and uh, some might question why we even chose to put a radiant floor in such a high performance home. Uh, we do have a lot of insulation, great windows, we've got um, R32 under slab, so yeah, that's, that's a lot of insulation. Our slab, right under this thin layer of cork flooring here, uh, will be at room temperature. Is room temperature warm enough? I'd say um, it is a little cold for our feet to, to, to be exposed to 21 degrees Celsius. Um, here on the south side in the demo house, we have a lot of windows and uh, this slab always remains closer to 22 to 23 degrees. But on the north side of the home, we don't have all this, uh, yeah, this, these passive solar gains. So uh, a, a zone system becomes quite interesting to have for, for increased comfort. So cold feet means you have to compensate with warmer air. And when we want to keep air at around the 21 degrees Celsius mark, it's nice to keep that and to just give a little um, warmth to floors, especially in bathrooms. Often what goes wrong with radiant floor systems that are leading to discomfort in a home are uh, plumbers just winging it on site. Here we went with the, the Upinor 30E radiant system that comes in a box and it's uh, really simple. It's prefabricated in a factory so you just put two screws in and you connect all the zones coming out of the slab into the bottom of the, the system. And uh, here we went with a climate control zoning system that uh, wirelessly activates the thermal actuators, which are actually just thermostats that you can uh, that control each zone in the floor. And uh, they all get uh, connected to the base unit. It's your really a, a simple installation so you can uh, work with different temperatures in different zones of the of the home so uh, in our case we don't run water through the south side and we're usually only heating uh, northern parts of the home as well as bathrooms so we there the thermostats are also programmable and we didn't have to wire uh, low voltage wire when we were doing the rough end of the home, it's all uh, working wirelessly. So here we can guarantee comfort for everyone in the home and uh, we know that the Upinor's Radiant Ready 30E is really plug and play. You got a boiler, you've got expansion tanks, you got pumps all in the right spot. It's perfectly engineered and of course Upinor do the engineering and provide the flow rates for every zone and it's easy to, to adjust flow rates through each zone according to their design right on, the, on the, the zone valves right on the 30E. So having a radiant system doesn't guarantee the best comfort and it doesn't guarantee energy efficiency. Uh, what we're doing here is really working a system to be fully zoned and um, fully engineered to come up with the performance that we were looking for. Thanks for watching.